Hey guys, what's up? It's Alien. Uh, we're back in. I'm just gonna play some Curse of the Dead Gods. Gonna see if we can make some progress here. Uh, I haven't completed any of the hard explorations yet, so I was hoping to snag one of those up and see what we can do there. Gotta take a look at my blessings here first. I kind of like the Thousand Gold start. Uh, let's get rid of the Greed Kill one. Or 50% max health attributing a non-optional champion of ours. I'll try keeping that and see how that works. Maybe we'll try the extra corruption uh, threshold here. I don't know if I've really done that, honestly. Just gonna lock some random things here. I'm not gonna look too hard at it. I kind of like the claws a lot, honestly. I'll unlock that now, too. All right. Lots of new stuff unlocked. Let's see what we got here. Other starting weapons here. Um, that. I like the look of that. Starting with claws. Okay, I like that. Those claws might be able to carry us for a little while. Uh, along with the auto parry on the shield. I like it. I like it. I've definitely found like a wi winning formula. With a... Uh, With powering up the shield and then just uh, doing combos after that. I'll try the original dungeon, honestly. 95%. Does that mean that's how far I've gotten? Sure. Hmm. Oh, so yeah. The difference between long exploration and hard exploration is all damage taken is increased by 100%. Healing rooms are more scarce. So healing is just, like, much more important. Blanket got caught there. All right, let's see if we can get a weapon right away. Double attributes after that. Hopefully it'll be fine. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna have gold for all this stuff, but the extra corruption, we could probably uh, do some blood offerings instead along the way. All right, let's go. And get back into the swing of things. Alright, this is a, like a trial room, so everything just spawns in this one small room, and then, uh... Uh... Definitely made some mistakes there. Didn't get hit, luckily. That'll stun him even if he's in the middle of attacking. Normally that's not that easy to do, but the shield, love that shield. Bam, nice room there. Damage taken, no corruption taken. Very, very nice, I like it. All right, we got a spear, we got some weighted blades. Um, I don't know how I feel about that one quite yet. Feels extra damage to bosses, which is kind of nice though. This one has a heal, it's a mace, huh? Burning enemies. Uh, we do have a shield. It's interesting. I don't know if I've really used a mace, but... Yeah, we could try it, honestly. Either that or I roll it. Uh... Corruption for it, huh? Hmm, burning enemies. I don't currently have a way to burn enemies. Hmm, I don't think it's quite good enough. I don't think it's quite good enough. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, that's a sword. That's a gun. That's a whip. We like the whip. Definitely like the whip. Then we are without a, a shield, which can give you that nice stun, so... Yeah, I don't like these either. I like to just kind of get one good weapon and then keep powering it up, essentially. So it does kind of work. It just costs no stamina. Interesting. 9% critical damage. Maybe this isn't that bad. I don't know. Roll it again! Alright, big claws, boys. Here we go. And it removes corruption. And it deals extra damage to bosses. I like it. I like it a lot. I'll pay the corruption for that. Claw's too good. There are certain buffs that are, like, super powerful, I find. Extra damage while in darkness and stuff like that. A lot of times you're just stuck doing that, it seems. And you're stuck in the darkness anyway. Or it's not worth the time to light, light it up and stuff. Away from him, let the trap do the work. Okay, very good. Got a relic here. Lightning attacks. I mean, as of right now, I don't have a way to get lightning attacks. 
And I feel like there's a decent chance I just won't find a way, so I'm gonna just go ahead and sell it, honestly. Okay, let's move on. Traps, traps, traps. Gold over here. Good. The more I play this game, the less the traps scary, scare me, and more it's just about uh, managing to par parry enemies and things like that. Oof. Painful right there, that's for sure. Me. Fine. Wait, reach him with the shield there. Couple hits taken there. A little scary. Go. I should have the money for this since I didn't pay for the weapon, so that's good. Health and treasure fine. I like getting damage myself early on, honestly. Much prefer getting the damage uh, than something like treasure find. I could go for another weapon here, but we don't have that much gold, whereas I could probably afford uh, uh, another full attribute. So we'll go for that. Alright, we got our first curse here. Bloodless. All regular healing effects are disabled. Alright. Defeating enemies now release blood instead of gold, restoring a portion of health. Blood quantity is increased by the kill counter and perception. I don't think I've ever had this curse before. So we're going to be getting a lot less gold, but we'll be healing a lot. Interesting. Oh, he got me. Okay, okay. Do have a weapon to break these walls. That's nice. But there is still just gold on the ground. Okay, so we're gonna light that. A relic right here. Weakened enemies, huh? I don't currently have a way to weaken enemies. I might find a way to weaken enemies. But it's a pretty weak relic. I'm just gonna offer it up, honestly. We're gonna play the long game here. I think we'll be okay in the meantime without that. Watch enough for these traps here. A little green mask there. Looks interesting. Okay, gonna play it pretty careful here. I haven't played this uh, particular temple in quite a while, I feel. Love these claws. We're getting some healing back. This curse, with something like that blessing we saw where overhealing gives you money, that could be really cool, honestly. You can't really guarantee any particular hurt curse, so... Kill the smaller guy first, I think. Very nice. Okay. Get some weighted blades here. Not interested in those. Definitely don't want to replace the claws. So just offer that up. Get some monies. Ah, damage and health. Perfect. I love it. Definitely going to pay for that. I like it I like it a lot. Alright. So we're just going to go gold. I'm probably going to go left after this. Two unknown rooms. Because I, I, we need relics. I don't. I think I'd, I haven't keeping, kept any of the relics that have been offered to us so far. So... I haven't done a single successful parry. I also haven't really been trying. Okay, I'll keep this relic. It's just one uh, stat for a little while, but that's fine. It's just healing otherwise, so I feel like that's not a big deal. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have aggroed all those guys, honestly. Okay, looking fine. Might be it for the whole room, honestly. This is one of those rooms, I think, where there's just a lot of gold lying around for you to pick up. A few enemies in the middle. Okay, what do we got for a relic? Plus 20% base damage for shields. I mean, I guess I'll take that one over minus 4 corruption. That's not bad. Our shield will deal a little more, more damage. That's fine. Another relic plus 3 constitution? Yeah, we'll take that for now, too. We have the healing from that curse, so it just makes sense to me. Grab all this gold real quick. Okay, looking good, let's go. 
All right, yeah, I'm gonna go left. Hopefully I'll be able to afford a relic here. Depends what this room's gonna be, honestly. It's... What is that, a weapon? I think it's either a weapon or an upgrade. I'm not sure which. I'm gonna go ahead and light these. At least one of them. Oh. Oh. Oof. Barely made the time on that, it looked. On him, he should be about ready to attack. There we go. That's good. Let's chain this off. Probably should have just parried that. Fine, though. Woo! A little close there. Look at that. Almost back to full health. Looking nice. Looking saucy. All right, we got some weapons here. Ah, oh, can't afford this. So these are our new weapons. Hmm. Nah, yeah, I don't know if it would be... It's, I don't think it's worth uh, taking that. I could use a Divine Favor here to see if we could get, like, a better shield or something. But I don't even know if it's really worth it. I might as well wait till the second area when you get, like, level 3 items and stuff. This, to me, looks just like a full skip, honestly. Uh... Too bad, because it's, it's a very wasted room then. But, uh... I, I could I could throw it... Well, maybe we throw it one Divine Favor. We'll see. Different Claw. I wouldn't really call it better, so I think we skip it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. I don't think I sp I don't think I should have spent the Corruption on that shield. I kind of like keeping the Claw-Shield combo here. I do have the extra uh, corruption handling, so maybe I'm playing it too safe. But uh, I guess we'll find out. Ooh, got me with that trap. Okay. Relic on the ground. Lightning attacks. I'm not going to bank on getting lightning on anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and take the corruption removal instead, I think, there. I wouldn't say I'm great at parrying. I'm, in fact, really, I'm really, I'm not good at parrying, I'd say, overall. But I've gotten better, I'll say, uh, from playing. Oh, I thought this was just like a small temporary room. Poison? I don't think I have a way to get poison yet. Hmm. E minus four corruption, though, huh? I'm just, I'm not going to take it. It's just one of those relics that it's going to be the first one I replace, and it winds up doing nothing the whole time I'm holding it. So, not too bad. We've gotten kind of lucky with a lot of these relics that don't help me out very much, I'll say. Woo! Almost got me there. Okay. So yeah, if you charge his shield, you can interrupt enemies' attacks, and you can't normally do that uh, with other... You can't just like keep attacking in other words That's kind of nice Oof. Not have anywhere near <laughs> Enough gold for these <clears throat> Interesting, okay So looks like I'm removing that curse Well Am I? Is this the last room? It is actually So I'm removing that gold, that healing curse basically uh, I can't even force to get a second curse So maybe I mismanaged the corruption a bit here uh, I kind of don't like this because I don't currently have a way to weaken enemies and there's a chance I just won't get a way to weaken enemies. It just takes the healing, but I kind of don't love the perception on it. I'd rather get a damage or health. I'm going to roll it. What do you got here? It's like the same thing. Yikes! Oh, plus six perception, huh? Hmm. I could buy that and probably get the stonks from it. Um, st increase stamina by one. That's not bad. I just feel like offering blood 70 corruption for this uh, will often get wasted. Do I throw out my last divine favor, though? I'll do it. What do you got here? Oh, okay, I like that. Oh, yeah. Worth it, definitely. Passive 45% more damage in darkness and plus 4 dexterity. I love it. Offering my blood for that bad boy there. That's for everything, so even if I change weapons or something like that, we'll still get that damage. Oh, I will have a second curse. Okay, I apparently have do my maths right. I don't know. I I don't know. 
which curse I'll want to get rid of. Let's see. Loses as much gold as you take damage. Health is reduced by 25%. Wow, we got two gold reduction curses, basically. Kind of a yikes. Alright, I've heard there's a way to possibly get his weapon offered, but the thing is, I probably don't care about his weapon. Are we never in darkness during this boss? Because there's just light everywhere. Kind of seems that way. Oh, he got me there. I didn't think... I thought he was going to summon. There we go. Little parry there. Whoa! Almost got me. Almost ran out of stamina. Sometimes he throws twice in a row. You just gotta be cautious of that. Yeah, right there. He threw twice. Got stamina back. Uh. You know, if we kill him with... When all the dogs are dead, there's a chance he drops his weapon. So that's what we're gonna go for. Just because that way we could offer it. Can't... Oh, wow. I still got the kill. Alright, not bad, not bad. All right, I get big heals after the boss, I gotta remember. I think we get rid of... I kind of want to get rid of both of them, honestly. Both of them are going to make us earn a lot less gold. Both losses reduced by 25%. I feel like that one's worse, honestly. Because I'm going to get hit. I don't know. This is hard to say. I kind of want to get rid of them both. Uh... I don't know. Just don't get hit, right? Oh. Ooh, that's tough. Okay, um... Ooh. And I don't need either of them, too, is the thing. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Just knowing myself. Alright. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, plus three perception if I offer? Nah, I'll still take it. Got a lot of corruption removal, too. Alright, we're already replacing our relics, I guess. Shield damage is good. Crit damage is fine, probably. Probably the shield damage we don't care about. Or it's a plus one here. I'll get rid of the shield damage. It's just not that good. Okay. Move on. Need money. Kind of don't like going left here. Although we could get a new shield and or claw potentially. I like the both of those gold timer rooms over there in the center. So maybe I do go left just for that. So maybe we do gold. Weapon. Relic. I mean, I have to go weapon, so probably gold, weapon, relic, uh, timer room, timer room? We'll see. Something along those lines. When it comes to a weapon, I'm probably just going to skip getting a two-handed weapon altogether, honestly, at this rate. I mean, if we get, like, a really good one offered, it might change my mind. Go. Oh. Go ahead and stun him and then get our stamina back, I think. It's kind of... Oh, oh! Thought I was going to hit him with the shield, but I guess not. Go! Alright, so it's almost like I want to get hit a bit, because I earn gold based on how much I'm hit. Go right, too? But only one way or another? Oh! Almost walked right into that one. Ooh, almost got me. That a whip. Now we want the shield to keep being able to charge up. Uh, I don't have a sword anyway. Got it. Oh! Alright. Looking good. Feeling pretty good about this. Get those shield charges in. Ooh. Whoa! Possibly needlessly dangerous. We're fine though. I do have a two-handed weapon. I, I do wonder, should I just be trying to get hit a little bit? Here. Oh, this is like a very scary trap room, essentially. So I'm at full health. I get healing from chaining enemies. Probably should, actually. just want to make sure I don't take corruption from it. It's the only thing. This guy on the left, I think, will cause corruption. All right, dog, hit me. <laughs> there we go, got a little bit of gold out of that at least. 
I'm not gonna get too greedy on it. Gonna take a little bit of damage, earn some gold here. Got like 390 gold off that, that's pretty nice. Found the, we found the strats. Infinite gold. Whoa! I almost wonder if I should get hit by him too. I, think I did a perfect dodge. Okay. Here we go. Oh, plus six decks is so nice. I think I just get rid of uh, this first one here. It's just plus one constitution at the moment. We do still deal critical damage pretty often. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. It's not very helpful. A lot more decks now. That's nice. Let's see. Oh, yeah, critical damage. And these under health, yeah, critical damage is very good for us right now. Okay, I could probably afford a weapon with gold here. I mean, I only have one curse. I'm just thinking about my corruption management here, and thinking that, like, I could probably spare some. I actually didn't mind, mind getting hit there. I don't want to get hit by those uh, those range balls uh, from those guys, that guy on the left there, because that definitely inflicts corruption if I get hit by it. I don't think this guy even attacks usually. He just summons or heals, essentially. So maybe I'll try to let like that dog hit me or something. Okay, that's fine. There we go, got, took a hit. Get a little bit of gold out of that. It's nice. I think I'll just play it safe and not get hit much more, though. It's fine. Alright, what do we got here? Double bow! No divine favors to roll these away. Yikes! Not really interested in a bow, I don't think. I haven't used a bow very well, but I never. they just deal so little damage. 21 plus 7? That's actually a pretty good bow, I'd say. I mean, that that's just not a lot I found. Um, yeah, the gun, I don't think so. I kind of like a, a shield combo. I'm possibly willing to get rid of uh, any of our weapons if I see something good, but I kind of don't like the sound of that. All right, what do we got here? Okay, I deal more damage in the dark, I gotta remember. Eh, I took a hit there, that's fine, honestly. You get so much healing. Might even be correct. I, I just never want to be at full health, it seems, because then that's wasted, uh, gold potentially. Plus two decks. I'm wondering if I get rid of that, is that more damage? Two, two dexterity is 4% damage regular damage. It's probably better, and plus I'll be earning some more gold. But it's also probably the next relic to go, unless it's the Constitution one that would go next. I'm thinking about what I'd replace after this. I'll replace it. We'll be fine. Uh-oh. Things are probably going to catch fire soon here. Escape. No need to parry, because we can just stun lock him, basically, with the shield here. <laughs> I was even had time to get back my stamina there. Oh, it's such a good combination. I, so I could replace this, but honestly, I'd rather just take the gold, I think, from the offer here. Oh, let me move my head slightly, so you guys can actually see that. See the offerings, I just noticed it's kind of hard to see. I think I just uh, actually offer this, because it's not that much of an improvement. I doubt I'll need the healing that badly yet, at least. Um, I don't want to replace all these dex ones, I think. So, yeah, I'm just going to offer it. Take the gold. Fine. Sure, we'll survive. I'm just noticing our corruption is super low. Whoa, buddy. I kind of like this curse. Maybe I keep it. 
Oh, that's such overkill, right? 10% of critical damage also heals me. Oh, but it's so good, too. No single source of damage you take can exceed 15% of max health, plus 5 perception, plus 12 to the highest stat. And I have dex as my highest stat, and so it would probably stay as that. Wow, that's actually pretty good, I gotta say. Plus 12 dex, right? I could get plus 7 dex, and also get more healing. And I could keep these... Uh... These gold ones. Maybe I do that. Oh man, I wonder I wonder if this is actually the correct choice though. I'm not sure. Uh what would be the next one I replace? Maybe that one, because I just don't need it. I wonder if I spend corruption here. I think I do. I'm gonna have a lot of gold though, that's for sure. Man, I wish I could buy multiple things here right now. Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll take this. And I'm gonna offer up corruption, just so we don't waste that uh, corruption removal that we have going on from that relic. Okay, I like it, I like it. Now I don't need the gold at all, so I guess I don't take that timer room. I'll go relic. Oh man, I might just take that healing room just so I can go get the attributes on the left now. It's so weird that we wound up in this position. I thought we'd have a hard time getting gold because... uh the curse that we have, but not really. Alright. Uh... The last hit is a crit. Another relic here. Minus 8 corruption. Ooh, wow, that could be good. Uh, I, I, I think I want to keep this. Probably for the whole run, honestly. So the next one to get rid of is probably the plus 3... Oh, it's this one, right? I'll just take the corruption removal there. I think that's fine. Fine is fine. Okay, let's go. Not quite at that near full, but pretty close. Then a hundred. Okay. Yeah. Looking good. I know the boss is fairly well in this run, so I have that going for me. But I, yeah, I've never completed hard mode. I didn't put in that many attempts. Uh, though I think I only put in like two or three. Uh, on stream too. I'm just gonna take a hit here. Good. As long as it doesn't inflict corruption, fine with that. I think. Got a lot of gold back from it. Old Arc Flames remove 5 Corruption, plus 2, plus 2 Constitution. Hmm, I don't think so. Huh, okay. Uh, I don't think I want it. Uh, yeah. I think we'll be fine. I'll just take minus Corruption there. Fine. Okay, I thought I saw gold shimmering over here. It's gonna blow up, isn't it? Oh, no, we're good. Remember what this is. This is another Relic, right? Okay, nice. Plus seven dex. We take it. We get rid of this one. It's fine. Which means we have tons of corruption removal, really. It makes me wonder if I should just use corruption to buy this, too. But I don't think I will, just because then we'll be just barely over another curse. So it might actually be not great for us. But maybe I want to keep the curse that we currently have, so maybe it's fine. Oh, wow. This is a hard choice now. This is interesting. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna offer gold. We have so much gold. I'm gonna offer gold there. And I don't mind using corruption in something in the future soon. Wow, 32 decks. That's pretty good. I really don't need the healing. I could stock up gold for later, though. Maybe I just should. Because I really don't need the healing. I, I, do, I would just walk through this room and go straight to the attributes room after this. If we went there. Which isn't really a bad thing, but you don't get anything out of the room. I don't think I'd take the healing even once. Um, I'm just looking at the third area of, over here now to see what it looks like. Because we could do start with attributes, take the timer, unknown, attributes, weapon upgrade. Man, it doesn't look like I'm getting a new weapon. Yeah, I think we do this. 
I don't need gold, it seems, because I have so much uh, corruption to handle. I wound up kind of over and kill killing it with the corruption management, it looks. I guess this is a good uh, lesson in that more curses isn't really that bad of a thing. Really, it just seems bad because it's such a build-up to it. But it doesn't usually wind up being that bad. I'm gonna... I want to break this wall, but... Okay, what's this? Oh, my goodness! You got me there. It's not gonna hit me, right? Okay, we're good. We're good! Mm, that's not very good. I'm not gonna take it. The gold! Did I blow these up for any reason? Oh, I can go down here too, it looks. Trap right there. Oh, it is able to. Ah! Escape! Chain reaction. On him. My health's slow enough that I just want to. Uh, I definitely don't want to take any purpose purposeful hits. I'm gonna say right now. Woo! Kind of a little close there. Oh! Probably should have just uh, parried that just in case. Really, it was close. There we go. Some nice healing out of that. Very good. I see a new claw over there. We might want. Yeah, just take it. Oh, yeah, I can afford it with gold, too. That's nice. Might as well pay for it while I can. I'll use corruption and other things. Oh, wait, but I wanted a second curse, potentially. Shoot. I didn't think about that. I don't think we take this. I don't think that's better, right? 14 plus 60. Oh, is it better? I don't get the corruption removal. And I don't get the champion. Wow, it's actually surprisingly better in some ways. It's better against regular enemies. I don't really need the corruption removal in our main claws here. Wow. Uh, but I don't get the extra damage on bosses. But 30%? Actually? Oh, right. And it doesn't scale when enemies are under health. Okay, I don't take it, I don't think. Almost took those weak claws. Okay, I offered that up. Let's go. I don't even have a second curse. That means we have to get rid of this curse. Darn. I didn't think about that. Probably a mistake. I think I liked having this curse, honestly. Okay, watch out. Alright, so this boss... He does swings like that. Just kind of chain them oftentimes. Gotta make sure you have stamina for that. Alright, then he goes into this dark mode here. I deal more damage in the dark, so this is fine. There we go, got a nice stagger there. That means he's weakened. It means that I can deal more damage. Nice little parry there. Roll out of that. Very nice. Oh! Didn't see he was attacking right away. If he swings his whip and hits these things that he puts on the ground, then uh, they'll explode. Woo! Close one. Okay. Oh, I thought I uh, buried that. I did not, though. Got the kill with the claws to make sure we get a little bit of corruption removal there. I think I gained some corruption from getting hit in the dark there. Took a good amount of damage, but we had that healing blessing for after bosses, so it's really not a big deal. I have zero curses now, leaving the second area. Not a place you really want to be, I gotta say. I don't want this. Even less corruption. Plus three perception if I offer this up. Do I want to um, have this for anything, though? Probably not. I think we're doing pretty good with our lousy weapons at the moment, oddly. So yeah, just keep going. Basically got one weapon at the start, and we just keep that the whole time. Love to get a new weapon. They're all on the left side here, it looks. Hmm. So, okay, I think we go... Because I, I can spend corruption like a mad lad now. So maybe we go relic, attribute, upgrade, the claws, gold, relic, new weapon, probably, is what I'm thinking here. I could probably just spend gold on buying the attributes after this first one. 
No curses right now, so I don't get anywhere near as much healing as we used to, so I definitely never get hurt on purpose here, I think. Still get a little bit of healing from, like, crits and stuff, but... Thank God for some of these auto parries, I gotta say. Saving me right now. Whoa, big hits! Oh. Yeah. Regret not managing that corruption better right now. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely feel that damage, not having a lot of damage right now, I gotta say. Got lots of healing there. Yeah, we definitely like um, just critting a lot because we get healing off of that. Earned a lot of gold, at least. Oh, super traps. I'm not even gonna bother gambling going the other side here. There's some gold if you just uh, keep walking down, but I don't, I don't like it. Ooh, plus 10 dex. And then I could just farm, save our gold, right? Plus 30% crit. Maybe I need the constitution so I don't get myself killed. It's possible. I'm not sure. Um, huh. Interesting. So what would I get rid of here? Maybe this one? Maybe this one, because I kind of don't need it anymore? Probably this one. We get more critical damage, which means we get more healing. I'll probably use corruption to get this either way. Actually. Or maybe I don't. Yeah, I mean, when you have the gold, right? I don't have anything that scales with gold. I could offer blood, keep our gold, and try to keep our gold for the rest of the run. Just have tons of dexterity. You know what? I'll go greedy for it. Let's do it. It'll be fun, but uh, I lose a lot. I have, like, no constitution if I do this. Oh, is this crazy? Maybe. I'm going to do it anyway. We'll see. Last cannon build, basically. Now. Only 1,500 health. That's so little for where we are. Oh, oh I'm surprised that hit me. I didn't I really didn't think it would. Didn't want to use my last stamina there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Escape. Okay. Uh. All right, big swings. It's getting healed by that guy, but oh, he got me. Health is low. What? Uh. Uh, I'm definitely gonna need to find ways to heal better here. Whoa! I really don't want to risk trying to parry something like this. He, he also does it so slowly. I don't want this, and it's a nice heal if I offer it, so I definitely take that. Could have a lot of damage, but it definitely doesn't feel like it at the moment, honestly. Okay, we go for attributes here. The second curse. I mean, first curse now. What do we got? Opening a gold chest now inflicts corruption. Gold chest contain more gold. I'm fine with that. That's a... Dude, I'll take corruption all day now. Alright, I need to not get hit here. Come on. All right, just uh, stun him, escape, let him swing around. Oh, I should have killed him with the claws, really, because that heals me. Whoa! Okay, looking good. Not getting hit. Wonderful. Whoa! I'm worried about this guy because he inflicts corruption. Whoa! Kill him. Very good. Been nice. Get back here. Let's kill them all, and hopefully I don't get hit, right? Whoa! Here's the third one. 
I was kind of close to that. Okay, that's fine. What's this? Another heal? I'll take it. Yeah, we don't care about that anyway. Alright, alright, looking better. We covered a good amount of health here. Whoa! Whoa! Back. Our stamina there. Trying to figure out who's going to attack here next. Oh! He got me. It's funny how he can stagger his uh, friends there. Oh! He got me with the swing around. I thought I could just uh, chain him into it, but that was a mistake. Oof, darn. Find up losing a lot of that health. Nah, this is a big gold one. I don't need it. I don't need the corruption either, but... The corruption minus, but... Uh, we just offer it up because I don't think feel like it's good at replacing anything that we currently have. We need to find way more healing somehow. The good thing is the claws constantly crit against bosses believe, at least. Take them both, right, anyway? I could not. I could just uh, spend the corruption on it. Yeah. 40 corruption is nothing to me, really. And I don't even care about our current curse, so I don't care uh, about that. So, just keep the gold, because our damage scales with the gold, so offer blood for this. I wonder if I should have just taken the health, though? Not sure. We'll farm more gold, I guess. One way of looking at it. We'll scale our damage. I like the upgrade for sure. Might just offer more, uh, more corruption for this stuff. I might take that mystery room before the boss or something. I don't know, and just pray that it is somehow healing to save my hide. Okay. Whoa. Whoa! Fine. Back some stamina. Alright, just don't get hit, Dan. That's all we gotta do. Easy game, right? That's a hard one for me to parry to get the di timing down on the parry, honestly. This will block. I like that little move. Whoa! Oh, I had that coming. more. Oh, get him. Oh, jeez. Thought he was dead. I wonder if there's a way to, like, sort of farm health, but it's probably too dangerous. At least for someone like me. Between this guy that heals and stuff. Whoa, escape. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. I really wish I could get my health back up there. The only thing. Do take more damage against the boss. That could be prob problematic. 1% of max health for each enemy killed. Definitely deals a lot more damage than our current shield, but I don't get the auto parry. Maybe it's worth taking, though. I don't really kill things with the shield, is the thing. But maybe I should now? I don't know. 1% of max health is only 17. I guess that's not bad. I'll take it. It just deals a lot more damage, I guess. That's the way I'm looking at it. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, new claws? Ooh! Oh, wait, this is an upgrade, duh. Okay, yeah, we definitely upgrade the claws. So, do I offer corruption and get another curse? Maybe we get back the healing curse. <laughs> I only get plus five damage. I mean, I definitely do it, but the question is do I offer gold or not? I'll do it with corruption, I think, for now. Let's find out what this second curse is going to be. Okay, let's move on. Okay, I have to take gold. I wonder if I take the upgrade, actually, after this. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I do. Okay, what do we got? The torch loses its fire and lighting properties. It shines with a dark light, still revealing hidden traps. You no longer take dam extra damage when standing in darkness. Oh, I actually like this one, I think. 
So basically, this doesn't illuminate anymore. But that's fine, because I don't take extra damage in darkness, because I want to be in darkness for the... Uh, oof, extra damage, so I'm often in darkness. So not taking extra from that is really good. Gosh. From now. I'm not super familiar with it, so I'm very scared. Just uh, get out of there, I think. I wonder if I should try to get kills with the shield. I don't know. Woo oh, he killed him for me? I actually really did not want that, because then that means that... Uh, I didn't get the healing from killing him! Oh my goodness! Good thing I had stamina still there. Mm, that is more damage, oddly. because it's Oh, because it scales with dex? But I don't get the, the crits for the heals, so I don't think so. Oh man, yeah. Quite a bit more damage, really. I don't get the extra damage against uh, enemies' bosses and some other things there. Almost good enough, honestly. What kind of traps do we have in this room? I know there's gonna be at least one. Alright. All right. Really don't wanna even fool around with stuff like that. I just wanna make sure that we clear without taking too much damage, honestly. Oh, that was close. Alright, kill him. Thank you. Makes things simpler. Didn't want to spend that last stamina because I knew. Oh. Let's try to kill him with the shield. There we go. Got a little bit of extra healing, I think, from that. Okay. That's it, right? Okay, yep. Let's not bother exploring. I think I take corruption from this, right? But I get extra gold? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, we got a big heal here. The only way I can weaken enemies is from parrying them, and I'm not doing that very much. Um, but maybe I want the plus four constitution at this point. Almost. I think I might. Oh, maybe I just want the heal. Hard to say. Uh, so basically, you can probably say the weekend doesn't do anything. I'd get rid of this. Maybe I do just want the heal, though. It's too bad. I like our upgrade. I think I go upgrade. I think I like upgrading those claws even more. Could be good. Thank goodness I don't take extra damage in darkness anymore. That is a lifesaver curse. Oh, that was a little close. Possibly unnecessarily risky. It's the name of the game, baby. Whoa! I don't like him. I actually don't want to be in the light. Okay. I don't know if it's worth really manipulating, though, to try to get out of it at this point, though. Kill them. Woohoo! Get back here. Yeah, there's definitely going to be more, right? Yeah. I'm surprised I actually reached him with that. Oh, he summons elite enemy. Elite enemies, interesting. I actually don't get healed by some of the enemies. They have a different health bar. You might notice they have a purple health bar. Enemies that are summoned. And you can't get, like, gold and healing off of them and stuff. Wow, it didn't get hit, I'm pretty sure. That's really nice. I don't have a way to poison, so that does nothing. And perception is not very good for us. So it's pretty simple to say I don't take that. Grab these skulls. This is an upgrade, right? Yeah. Let me look at the map. How many chambers we got? Not much. We upgrade the claws again. The question is, do I offer gold or corruption? Cost 70 corruption. I'll be at 88 corruption uh, after doing this. Then I'll go to 108, which means I'm guaranteed to get a third curse by the boss. I do this, if I take the corruption, keep the gold. I think we'll be okay. I think it's fine. We scale with gold. 
We'll be fine. Actually, I get to remove corruption too from killing with the claws, so we're possibly not guaranteed to get a third curse. Unknown is kind of risky. What are the odds I actually find a useful weapon at this point? I'm, never, I'm not replacing those claws, almost guaranteed now. I'll go unknown in case it's healing. Try to heal the full. At this point, a new weapon just doesn't sound meaningful. It's not healing. Oh, it's a time drum? Oh, that's not very helpful, I gotta say. Okay. I don't even care how much gold we get out of this, honestly. I just wanna make sure I don't get hit. Oh! And then I got hit immediately after that. Get out of there. Sort of trapped by some of those enemies. And... Oh, come on, dude. Wow, big damage to me. This keeps getting me, basically. Let's get away from him. Fine. This is it? Is this the whole room? Kind of inter interesting, if so. I didn't kill him. Kill him with the shield, because I think I get more healing from that. Okay, I only got 900 gold out of it. That's pretty low for this. Whatever. Uh, my health isn't that bad, I guess. Hopefully I get some healing from this. Interesting. Plus four decks. I could swap this at this point. But I honestly feel like if we offer the corruption and we go down to 86... This is the last room, right? Oh, so no matter what, I'm not getting a third curse. We're fine. The offering it does nothing, so I might as well actually replace it here. Potentially. Let me look at this real quick. This is nothing. I want perception. Nothing scales with it currently that we have, so I'll offer that up. Uh, yeah, I guess I just take like one more dex basically here. It's possible getting hit by the third boss will net me enough gold to make this more worthwhile, though. But we won't get hit. We'll be fine, right, guys? We have so much gold. This has been an interesting run. I hope I can beat the third boss here. We're, like, never in the darkness in this boss, is, I think, is part of the problem. Or very rarely, I think. Oh, and I immediately get hit. Whoa! Get back some stamina. Oh, well, yeah, that's bad for me, because I really wanted to be in the darkness, actually. He doesn't always swing twice, I've noticed. Sometimes you can stun lock him. Okay, okay, let him do that. Fine. Hit him from behind. I don't know if you deal extra damage from behind or not. Let him do that. Whoa! Don't get hit. When he's on fire, he might deal more damage or something, I'm not sure. Whoa! A little close. Okay. Oh, we are in darkness right now. Oh! The wombo combo on me there. Whew! I'm in light when I'm near him. That's interesting, actually. Because it comes with fireballs. Only a couple hits from him will probably kill me now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting it down. He's almost down to 30%. Oh! Good. Get some healing now, finally. Oh, I, I dodged too early there. Yikes. Dodged twice! Oh! Run away. Fine. Let him do it. He's almost dead. Did we get him? Got him. Hard done. Woo! Close. Closer than I'd like. Closer than I'd like, I'll say. Woo! That was tough. I really wish I had kept that curse that healed us. Wow, we wound up with so much gold at the end. We actually had quite a lot of damage, honestly. Alright, I'm happy that we were able to finish hard mode, at least. 48 decks, that's so much. That's a crazy amount. Nemesis, Dark Avatar of the Jaguar. I think that's the final boss. 
Yeah, I think I was one essentially one hit away there from getting uh getting killed. Oof. We tried to play pretty quickly. And uh the run still wound up taking essentially an hour, so it's interesting. Playtime says thirty minutes. Yeah. It's interesting. But yeah, I mean this game is fun. Um I think a lot of the times though, uh the runs just end up kind of feeling the same. Cause even like hard mode versus long is still just you know, basically the same game, but you take more damage, so I don't know. I'm hoping we get a little bit more out of 1.0, but I might put the game down until then, but supposedly it's going to be soon, so we'll definitely check it out when 1.0 comes out. But yeah, uh, that's hard mode on, uh, I forgot what temple this was, but I think it's uh, the first temple, basically. Alright, guys, I think that's it for me. I'll see you later. Bye-bye now. <laughs> you know I believe it, Mark. <laughs> oh, hey, didn't see you there. You know, while you're still here, Maybe you should go on over and check out what's going on on the stream, www.stampdad.com. Come on over and say hi to us. <laughs>